Hello friends, welcome back to another video of my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about a KVM switch which I bought from Amazon for this kind of setup. Well, I am using two laptops and I want to share a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse between these two laptops. So let's start the video. So now guys, if you have a setup like this with two laptops and if you want to use the same monitor with two laptops, then what you have to do, you will have to disconnect this HDMI cable and connect it back to this laptop every time whenever you want to switch from one laptop to another and even for the keyboard and the mouse also you will have to do the same thing so for this kind of setup this KVM switch can be useful if you want to use this single monitor keyboard and mouse with both the laptops and want to switch between the computers with a single push up a button this is the KVM what got delivered today, what I was talking about previously. So let's open this box. I have ordered few other things along with this KVM switch. So let's see if things are in place or not in this uh, package. So this is the HD and USB switch, KVM switch. Uh, I'll be showing you how to set it up. So let's see what else is there with the package. So we got a HDMI cable, and this is also, I guess, this will be also an HDMI cable. Let's open it. Yes. So we need total three HDMI cables uh, for this setup to work properly and this KVM switch is only meant for two computers uh, which can share uh, a single monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. We got two HDMI cable uh, separately ordered with this uh, KVM switch. Now let's open this box and see what's there. This is what we are seeing like some information is there in the back of this box and this is the front of this box there is nothing else anywhere in the box so let's open this thing and here we have it let's see what is inside there in the box here we go so inside the box first thing we will be seeing the manual, it is a 2 to 1 HDMI switch as we can see here and this is how we are going to set it up. So let us continue with our unboxing and see what is there. We got this two USB to USB type A cables, this is also the same, we got two USB to USB type A cable with this and we got a USB type A to USB type C cable for this thing to get the power. So let's take it out and this is how the switch, it's a lightweight switch uh, by holding it I can tell you like this is a very lightweight, it's not too heavy or anything, fits in my hand like the size of this switch on the front top uh, we can see the logo of this uh, KVM switch and here in back we have this inputs for uh, computer 1 and computer 2 and this will be the output which will go to the common monitor of the setup and here we can see the USB hub here we can connect various like four USB devices one will be used for the keyboard one will be used for the mouse and if you have a printer or scanner or anything else any USB peripheral device that we can use with this uh, side of the switch and this is a switch which uh, will uh, by pressing this we can switch over uh, to the different computers whatever we are going to uh, connect and this is a two computer setup only uh, it won't work with more than two computers and this is a port where we need to uh, supply the power uh, and this will be the light indicator uh, showing that it's uh, it's power on or off and this is uh, the cable what is got supplied with this uh, particular switch this is the usb type c so we can connect it here and connect this 
uh, USB Type A port to some mobile adapter or some any USB uh, power supply. So that's it, guys. Let's set it up. So now let's start with the HDMI cables first. Let's untie these cables. This is one cable. This is the other one. And this is one of the other cables. So I already told like we need three HDMI cables. So two is here and this will connect to this uh, switch uh, as an output for the, both, these, both these laptops. So let's connect one by one with this switch and see how this thing works. Let's disconnect this HDMI from here and connect it to the output. Connect it to the output. Here you can see that we have it's written output. So we need to connect to the output of uh, this switch, the HDMI cable. So like this we need to connect the first then we need to connect the other two cables here. So I'll be connecting one more HDMI cable to PC1 or 2, whatever it may be. And for the second one, I will be connecting the second HDMI cable like this. So all the HDMI cables got connected. Now we need to connect these other ends to the individual. Uh, laptops. Now let's do that. This one will go here to the laptop one, and this will go here to the laptop two. If we use the USB accessories or peripherals, work together, work for both the systems uh, while we are switching for individual uh, systems. So now USB cable to one of the port here, and the other one in one of the port here and this is how the switch will look after connecting all the cables one HDMI output, two HDMI inputs from two different laptops and two USB inputs from two different laptops the only thing is left to connect these USB cables so let's connect one of the cables to the first laptop and for this laptop 2 I'm connecting the other USB cable to this laptop 2 Now both the laptops have been connected via the USB to the switch and we are not able to see any signal right now because we need to push the button on the switch and if we push the button it should take one of the laptops. So we can see that laptop 1 is using the monitor right now and if we push the button one more time then it should switch to laptop 2. Now we can see that laptop 2 is using this monitor. and. Now we can see that the KVM switch is already powered on and it is taking power from one of these uh, laptops as because it is connected to the USB port of one of these laptop and that's why we don't always have to connect uh, this uh, Type-C uh, cable to this uh, KVM switch which have been supplied with this KVM switch. Uh, it will uh, draw the power from one of the uh, laptops. And we can also see the LED indicators are also present at the back of the uh, KVM switch. Depending on the laptop, whichever, if this is the laptop 1 and this is the laptop 2 and it will uh, show us the not indication of whichever laptop is using uh, right now. So if I press the button here, it will automatically change to the next uh, signal uh, to the laptop 2 and if I uh, click one more time, then it will again jump back to the laptop 1. So this is how we can able to see with this LED indicators. For the keyboard, I will be connecting to this port and for the mouse I will be using the uh, Wi-Fi dongle I can use also Bluetooth but I don't want I want to use the Wi-Fi dongle so it will switch between two uh, laptops very smoothly so I am connecting this to this port and now the setup is ready so now for the demo I will show you the whole setup so I have connected the HDMI cables for these two laptops to this uh, KVM switch and from here I, I have connected the output to this monitor and I have also connected this keyboard and mouse with this KVM switch uh, the keyboard is here and the mouse is here anywhere you can connect you can also connect uh, any other two USB peripherals like a printer or a scanner or a hard disk also uh, for using with these two laptops 
and this is how I am using uh, my key mouse and keyboard uh, with this uh, laptop one right now so as you can see uh, that uh, things are working and if I push on this button now then it will switch to the laptop 2 and here also I can use uh, without changing the cables or anything whatever I used to do before so this is what the KVM is all about KVM means keyboard, video and mouse so this is the KVM and this is one of the recommended KVM switch what I got from Amazon uh, with uh, going through lot, lots of reviews and this is uh, working fine and it's fulfilling my purpose where I need to switch between two laptops and using only a single monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. So that's it guys, this is the KVM switch and I found it very useful using with a setup like this where I am sharing uh, a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse with both these laptops and I will recommend this uh, KVM switch if you want a setup like this and you want to share a single monitor, keyboard and mouse with two laptops or two PCs then this is a good device to go for and if you have found this video useful and learned something from this video then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and if you have any questions regarding this KVM switch then please do comment in the comment section of this video. See you in another video. Bye-bye.